can't take first place at a major stuff like that that's what i think is the bigger stereotype however like i said before yeah. nobody has actually proven themselves aside from kayane and solo caliber that that is possible so kayane is like you know she's holding the flag for all of us at the, <laughs> at the finish line right now talking about catch up in your games you know what i mean so i respect it but that's why i'm not offended by the stereotype because nobody has uh stepped out of the box yet well, I, can, I, I, can agree. I agree with that but um the thing the thing that i think is that um i think ma the majority of players like if you take the fighting community 95 percent of us are not good we're not godlike players who get you know top eight at majors exactly 95 more than 95 percent of us if you, i mean if you actually do the head counts like only yeah. eight people get top eight and so very very large percentage of players are not good I mean, that, that, that's really mean. I guess they're not they're not godlike. And so a very large percentage of female players are not going to be good either. And there are so much fewer females that the ratios are very, very skewed. So the chances of a female player being very good are a lot less likely. And that's probably why I haven't seen it yet. I mean, uh, Kayana is an exception. A lot of Japanese players are an exception. Um, but, yeah, the, I mean, in, as far as the U.S. goes, there aren't any. There are zero. Now let me let me spin this quick because you know we're talking fighting games, and you know I got Lady Fox and Latoya here. As far as first-person shooters, does that stigma follow you as well? Um. Well, we're pretty good. Like um, I'm not gonna lie. Like there have been times where we would it would be a um, a lobby full of guys and we would come in. And we would go in and they'd call us all kinds of names, you know, bitches, hoes, sluts, everything. And we'd go in, we'd body them the entire game. I know, um, like, Lady Fox is a beast on Call of Duty. Um, Mommy is a beast <laughs> on Call of Duty. Um, so we have a really good team. And so um, we, do, we do a lot of talking. And, I mean, I don't know, Lady, what you think? Um, I mean, when it comes to the fighting game community, like really any any genre in gaming, is it because there's just not a lot of girls that's showing up at the tournaments that much, or um, not practicing that much, or because you just see so many males? Is that the reason why we don't see that many ladies in top eight and anything? Oh, it's also in tourneys. Like, who wants to smell like smelly dudes all day half of the day? Anyway, also, so that plays a factor. Also, like, take a shower. Hey, do Very women do women use not bathing as a tactic, like guys? What? Yeah, what? That's a tactic. I thought they just didn't know about hygiene. No, no, no. That's it. That's an actual tactic people use. No, it's not. Yes, no, it is. Not. Yo, I've talked to guys. I have talked to guys that have intentionally turned around and said, "I ain't bathing all week, just so when I sit next to the person, I'm gonna stink is like ass, nice? and they're gonna not." I mean, it's not. It's not all of them. Wow. Some of them are just dirty motherfuckers. But I was doing, yeah, I was doing an interview for MLG one time on the air with some guy that just, he just had a big win, and he sat down, and his breath was so bad, and they were like, you got to do a four-minute interview, and he just kept talking and breathing, and gosh, he was atrocious. I would hate to sit next to this guy and play. Well, I think for women, we have too many creases and crevices, so we have to bathe. <laughs> I don't, I don't think now. we can't not bathe. <laughs> I can't either, but they try. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, Jimmy, um, my last question is basically, I, I've been playing fighting for 20 years. It is very rare. The, the women that play shooting games and all these other games drastically outnumber the amount that play fighters. I mean, it's not even close. It's yeah. true. Why do you think that is? Is it something that appeals more to that? them as opposed to fighters. I mean, why is that? Why do those type of games draw, have a bigger draw than fighters? They're more accessible. Shooters are more accessible as far as learning. Um, you know, when I first started learning fighting games, I had no idea what the whole frame data was. I didn't know what 
you know, plus frames, advantage on hit, advantage on block, you know, this move is safe, this movement is negative. The only thing I saw was, oh, my character just threw a punch, and oh, what, you know, what happened? Like, he can block after swinging his leg around like that? I tried to picture it too much of how it visually looked instead of, you know, the frame data that it came down to. Shooters, it was just like, oh, I gotta, you know, aim for your face, you know, back in Halo 2, oh, I can just, like, you shoot you team. four times in the face and you're dead, you know. The most complex thing about shooters at the time, like Halo 2, was learning how to BXR and double shot and triple shot, and that was about it. Everything else was down to timing, like, your weapons respawn every two minutes, you have to have setups to get the power weapons and have, you know, control over the map stuff like that you know that's all stuff you know you can you know look up the data on just like you can do in fighting games but it's not nearly as complex as fighting games yeah mm-hmm. pretty think fighting games uh take a little more as far as exactly what you there's not an actual skill on what to do but what you have to know just to dive into it in general just just to be just to get the basics down or you have to know a lot more you have to know frame data yeah 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 it's it's not as natural as a shooter i guess right but to get into uh well jimmy i appreciate you having me on brother anytime uh, sir know. all right guys take it easy you're gonna be at ect gonna... right yeah I, you still grabbing me in Rio? I yeah guess? i got you all right but i'll see you then all right man okay now i'm down to one two three four <laughs> five I have five ladies here. Um, are you all playing Injustice? Yeah. No. I am. I, just, well, I tried it for a little bit. Not really. You're not digging it? Um, I visited SoCal last week and Flo showed me like how to do this Superman combo that was like really stupid. And I pretty much just used that. <laughs> I don't really care to look around the rest of it. It's, right. not, it's not my type of game. I'm not like a Mortal Kombat person. Um, I tried Injustice though. Now let me see this. What's the turn off for Mortal Kombat? Coming that I worked on the game, I'd like to know why you don't oh, like oh, it. Oh, I never played it. I never played Mortal Kombat. You know, you can't. I don't with... dislike it. I don't dislike it. I just don't. I don't. I didn't put the time into. I didn't buy it. I didn't play it anywhere. So. You know, I, one of the things, and I've never really gotten an answer, uh, really that was like definitive. Besides everybody just saying it's broken, like Street Fighter's not broken. Um, every every game out there is broken. There's no such thing as a non-broken game. But, you know, as far as women, what uh, what do you, what do you, what do all of you look for in a game as far as sparking an interest or not sparking an interest? Um, and that goes both for the first person shooters and fighters. Um, are you story-based, graphics, the combination, word of mouth? Um, well, a good storyline. Characters. When it comes to the game, as far as like any game. For me, it's characters. Like, you know, usually for fighting games, the storyline's really small. So I, I look at like the character select screen and I'm like, oh, that person looks okay. And I'll pick them. So for like, you know, then that's how I'll try it. And I'll try if, if, I, if it doesn't sit well for me, then I'll just stop playing it. But that's how I determine if I want to play it or not. Yeah, and the feel of the game sometimes, it's like, yeah. like I like the way Marvel feels, it's really fast paced, you gotta think quickly, you know, it may be, you know, extremely dangerous, because you get hit once and you, you're, possibly your whole team is done, but it's still fun, because it's some, like, it's fast paced, like, personally, I didn't like, like, I liked Mortal Kombat, but I never got into it because I have a hard enough time blocking, like, just with the stick. So holding the button to block was like, well, yeah, it's not going to happen. In, in Justice, actually, I'm going to say in Justice, because I, I did, you know, buy it and I played the story mode. It was really good. I liked it. I And it was, like, one of the best I've played in a while. But the game kind of, like, after a while, it just gets boring to me. But um, I, I, I still enjoy it here and there. All right, so I'm going to ask a question. Who's the coolest person in the community? Yipes. <laughs> the coolest person in the community? Yeah. Uh, John Choi, easy. All right, that's two people that lost. Next. What? <laughs> what? Saying you say. would be cliche. Come on. <laughs> oh, did you just say me? All right. I was going to say for the person who said me, I got D- <laughs> I got DLC codes for Injustice that I'm going to be giving away. 
You, of course. Exactly. You. <laughs> you. See, see, see now. Traitor You're a traitor. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you made that statement, what system do you have? Xbox. And what do you want? Zombie, Red Sun, New 52, Blackest Night, or Arkham City? Um, does any of those have anything to do with Green Lantern or Aquaman? Uh, I, either. No. <laughs> okay, it's not Green Arrow. I don't have no more Green Arrows left. I'm sorry. They went. They, oh. they went bye bye. The only one that got that was Chris G. That sucks. Okay. Um. Whichever one has to do with Batman. All right. Let me. I'm gonna send you this right now. Okay. Uh, send an instant Five message. Point. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me open up my little emails here because I have it in here. I hope uh, somebody finally got the question right. I didn't think it was <laughs> going to be that hard. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, something with Batman for Xbox. Uh, since you don't have GL or Aquaman or Green Arrow. All the characters I hate. Well, I, I play Aquaman. Uh, Aquaman's Aquaman. good. Though. I love him. Aquaman's the bomb. I hate his character though, like in comics. I, I hate it, but in the game, I actually like him. In the game, I hate him in the comics. Aquaman gets a bad rap. Aquaman's the shit. Oh, I got it. Thank you. Yep. Sweet. Give it to my boyfriend. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got there. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Aquaman isn't that bad. All right. So, anyway, let me get back to the questions that people have asked. Um, oh, my God. I thought Triforce was in my chat. I'm like, what the fuck? How the fuck did he get in here? Isn't he always in your chat? <laughs> Is that, like, Miranda? Is that you? Yeah. Miranda? Is that you, Miranda? Changing, I'm like, like, how the hell did he get in there already? Uh, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> he keeps changing it. I saw, like, Flo, and then I saw Marn. Yeah, let's try for it. All right, now we'll add Fili Filipina champ. <laughs> Filipina champ. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta find that one. Okay. Um, all right. Where am I going? Let me go back to these questions. Uh, boom. I got a lot of questions actually. And where am I? Where did he go? Where did he go? It sucks having the multitask here. Uh, where are you, Natus? Here we go. Okay. Uh, Yo, dog, what's up, that champ is here. What's up, Mr. Champ? Can you ask Triforce <laughs> if he wants to come on? Uh -oh. Triforce said uh, that's a bunch of ratchet holes on the show, and he wants no part of it. No part of it. <laughs> so I'm here. I'm taking over, dogs. You girls took up too much of my time. I need to advertise and run ads and shit. So you got to hold that. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> we gotta be ratchet hoes. <laughs> All right, I got a question. I got a Is question really from F Cham. That sounds like him. No, it's... no, no, no. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> it's okay. it's it's, it's, okay. it's Rolando from VXG. <laughs> oh my God, that's terrible. But not to like say it like that. But like, okay, I'm ready to bring it up. All right, here we go. Question for the ladies. Do you agree that Tekken is the best video game franchise in the history of man? No. 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 Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, video game or fighting game? Yeah. Uh, actually, game franchise. Right. Franchise in general. So I'm. No. No. Yeah. No. Uh, no. No. Mm -mm. Nah. Mm. Was there a time when any of these girls regretted being a part of the FGC and wished they did something else? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm not gonna. I mean, do I have to answer that? Yeah. <laughs> this is the on Blair show. Yeah. I is mean. Oh, is this yes? oh, uh, we're waiting. No we're waiting. So we have to actually explain. Yeah, that. you got. You know. <laughs> uh, um. Uh, fuck it. I'll go. I don't care. Um. Yeah. There are a few times. I ran into a few assholes, but um, had a few words or a few. You know, things said to me, disrespected in front of my face, people I thought were my friends, talked behind my back. So I just realized it was just like a freaking high school all over again. So 
yeah, there are times where it it gave me a headache. Like there are times I didn't I didn't want to go to a tournament at all because besides dealing with who I was supposed to play, I also had to deal with assholes around me. And it wasn't like and some of them actually did it intentionally. Like they knew I was watching and they were doing it like right in front of my face. So and I didn't want to deal with that shit. I was just there to play. But now it's different. I think it's better now. Uh, Miranda? Uh yeah. You 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 half answered the question. <laughs> I answered the question. I mean, I'm not gonna go there. No. Yeah, the answer is yes. Right. I'm still here. I still play games. I love Street Fighter, and that's. I mean. <laughs> what games? <laughs> what, is yes. I'm gonna pass. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna pass it unless somebody else wants to interject yeah. on a, uh, a, a a a moment of uh, clarity where they might have said well, that. that as far as, like, the actual games go, like, I don't regret it at all. Playing fighting games is really fun. And I enjoy it. Um, the community, as far as the people, sometimes the people, you know, they'll do shit that piss me off. But, you know, and even stuff that's crossed the line. However, it's my choice to be here, so I've kind of subjected myself to that. So the only thing I've done from there is just get a tougher skin and, you know, talk shit right back. <laughs> like, if somebody's popping off to me or being a dick to me... I'm the first one to be like, yeah, well, then I'll just talk massive amounts of shit back to them until they're like, you're fucking annoying, and then they just give up. So that's how I've turned it around from being like, I regret being here, to I have fun being here, because I'll just fuck with you, too. Like, felt, the guys aren't the like, only ones that can fucking, you know, do that shit. That so shit. Exactly. Well, I felt like if I talked back, I was like the angry black chick. Or the angry black woman that didn't need no man. So yeah. I couldn't like talk back because she was like, you know, oh, when I, that ain't black woman. When I talk shit about uh, Evo and and other particular people in the community, I get that same feeling. <laughs> I mean, I mean, when I when I insult uh, this dumb fuck, Mr. Wizard, um, every time I open my mouth, do you realize that somebody mentioned the word the on blast show? on SRK and they text me back to go the words on the on blast show are deleted within five minutes on the website uh, uh. you know and all I did was point out the fact that I find the guy to be an asshole and I've given solid reason I just feel like uh, as consumers you should always treat your customers with, res with, with respect <laughs> um, and I don't find or should I say, I find him not the the person that if I was the cannons, that should be uh, leading the charge for the Evo quote-unquote revolution gaming event. Um, because I think he shit talks people, i.e. Chris G, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Wait, what? He talked shit to Chris G when Chris G lost to uh, Senior Taxi. Taxi. I mean, when Chris G talked shit about Senior Taxi? No, when Mr. I mean, Wizard... I I saw that tweet. <laughs> no, Mr. Wizard talked shit to him. After he talked shit to see your taxi. It doesn't matter. If the... It doesn't? No, because you're the, you're, the, you're the head of a tournament. You're not supposed to get involved in the little children politics. You're supposed uh, to be you. up and above it. I agree. Yeah, that's, that's true. You know, yeah. I mean, I had MLG Adam come on a show and apologize for talking for talking shit to me, you know, in, in the Twitterverse, and he, and, and he realized that I wasn't wrong and that he took it to a level, and we agreed to disagree, but at least, he, at least I'll give MLG full props. He realized, you know, as a, a, a vice president of a company, going on Twitter and talking shit to the people that are basically your customers is not good business. And that's not the only time he's done it. He's done it to other people as well. He's done it to CD Jr. and his brothers. He's done it to other people randomly. You know, if, if you're going to be the face of something, you actually got to act like an adult. See, I'm an old motherfucker, and I've had people tell me that I'm some kind of pillar of the community, and I'm not. I'm just an old motherfucker who gets bored on Tuesdays that wants to do whatever I can to make you people entertained. Um, and the fact that, you know, I've had people like Ski Sonic talk shit to me, you know, um, basically it, it just solidified my belief that 
the egos of certain people in this community um, because they're either good commentators or good at games do not put them above anybody else in this community I agree you know um, yes, the, the people that come into this show if the people in this show turned around to me and said James MK you're an annoying motherfucker shut the fuck up we don't want to hear you um, then you know what <laughs> I would still do my show for the five people. And you were killing me, Miranda, with these pictures. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. She's old. You know, um, but, you know, my, my point is it's like, you know, the community is what <laughs> controls the tournaments, not the tournaments. <laughs> you know, and, and if you're going to be in a position to run tournaments, you got to treat every customer like they're the, your favorite customer. That's all I'm saying with that. But anyway, let's move on to the next question because I got I got the 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 Rambo syndrome going on. <coughs> all right. Um, let's see. We got from Shiryuki San ninety five. Uh, what game do females in the FGC enjoy playing the most and watching? Marvel. Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> um, wins Marvel. <laughs> That's for me, I I like Super because I can make money off of it. That's just me personally. Um, I like watching high level uh, Street Fighter. Yeah. Um, playing wise, I prefer some of the dead fighting games <laughs> that aren't popular anymore. <laughs> like Marvel too. Marvel, Marvel one, uh, Marvel one. I'm sorry, I, I can't do uh, Marvel two. <laughs> Marvel you like Marvel two? I I love Marvel one. So. Marvel two is that shit. That's that real crack, not the fake crack they give it. So, <laughs> but I also no like watching person. sometimes Marvel. <laughs> like sometimes Marvel. Depends. Marvel's fun because it's like, it's like playing roulette. That shit is so fucking random. Like anybody can lose to anybody in that game. That's like, why I don't like matter. watching it though. Uh, but like, watching. Really, well, watching two high-level players play that game, like, oh well, yeah, like, that game up to like so much more. I agree. But the randomness, like, there's more randomness than anything else. I and think I would love it better though if Gambit was in it. I would actually play uh, it. They had Gambit in the game. Uh, oh, Gambit. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only reason I would play it is if Gambit was in the game. All right now. Right. Um. um let me, I just deleted it again. Who, uh, and this goes for all you ladies, who are your video game crushes? <laughs> Am I allowed to oh, answer yeah, that you question? Ask a picture? Answer right here? Mm. You asked a question, you want to change the picture, that was bad. Let me show you <laughs> That was bad timing. <laughs> there we go. Better. <laughs> I hope That's a lot of giggles. To, we're not going to we're not going to answer that. that because dude's egos are going to get, like, too hyped. Oh, and then it's oh. like, dude, don't get gas. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I said I thought like, you were cute, not like you're Adonis. Stop it. That's <laughs> true. Can okay, we say, like, male friends? Maybe, like, our top four male friends? No, hold on, dogs. Miranda likes fanatic. Look at that picture. She wants the black dick, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> is it, well, wait, wait. From that picture, is it black or green? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Is that Miranda? Oh, dog, she wants that PDP glowing black dick. 15% off with the promo code. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I just happened to change the picture. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to answer that question. That's a trap. Um, it's not, I mean, I have it's a not, list, but <laughs> it's not going to take it out. <laughs> Mine is Dante and Virgil. Lame. <laughs> <laughs> That's the safest answer. Okay. Yeah, uh, mine. Okay. I'm just gonna say Gambit for mine. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yeah. I'll, say, uh, oh, go ahead. I'll say that. Uh, Nate. Uh, My crush is Punko. I don't care. I find his oh. best. <laughs> I have a funny. Uh, wait, who said that? I did. Here. Uh, I have a funny story for you, Evo. <laughs> Which one? When I was holding up the sign? I'm not going to tell it now, but... <laughs> <laughs> the funny Punko story. Oh, man, that's, that's my guy. I I, I find his sex very sexy. No, oh, Jesus. 
That's so godlike. I find it very sexy. <laughs> I, mean, I can tell you my favorite player. I wouldn't really consider it a crush. Other than Yipes, my favorite player is Nemo. Hmm. <laughs> my favorite player is a tie between Ricky and John Choi. Easy. Okay. I love Filipino champ drop. Oh well. <laughs> Filipina. Now, um, I got Latoya and Lady Fox over here who are not much of fighting game players, obviously, and I feel kind of bad that I got them in the corner and shoved into this fighting game conversation. Um, I'm sure all of you are aware of uh, Aries' display. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Um, for those of you who are not, he, uh, he displayed his male chauvinistic ways quite well and embarrassed himself. Um, did you guys walk away from that with a bad taste in your mouth as far as, uh, how women are treated? Or did you just say that's Aries being Aries? Okay, wait, what happened? I'm <coughs> sorry, I don't even know what's going on. Is this a question for like everyone or everyone, just like everyone? Everyone. Well, I don't even know the story, so I can't even answer the question. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll go back. To, we'll go back to the story. They were doing. Uh, I, what was the name of that that show that they were calling it? I guess. Cross of Salt, I think. Yeah. Cross oh, of you're Salt. talking about the dude that looked like uh, Santa yes. mixed with Chang. The guy that looked like Sinbad, <laughs> the sailor. <laughs> <laughs> you know Chang from King of Fighters, and then he speaks with Santa with the beard. Yes. Are you talking about him? Exactly. And then with Super Yang. Oh, that dirty pig! Oh my God. Who's Super Yang? I mean, not Yang. Super um, Yang. you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. It looks like Rasputin. <laughs> oh God. God. <laughs> Like dudes who like do that, like you don't get a pussy anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Like, what's your name? Didn't he almost oh. hook up with Ko though? What? Ko police at Evo? Didn't he almost hook up with her or something? But isn't that You're a dude anyway? On her, I, think. So <laughs> it doesn't matter, so it. <laughs> I think it was just hitting on her. I think. I don't know. I don't know. My point is, it's like, you know, when you see things like that in the fighting game community go on, and obviously, like I said, I mean. Everybody kind of seems a little PC, which is kind of cool, but because um, I don't want nobody to, to stick their neck out and, and hurt anybody's feelings, I guess because this is the Lifetime Network tonight, um, but <laughs> there's... <laughs> this is a Lifetime or Oxygen or Oxygen. I don't watch... Oh, you watch I watched the whole. I, watch I, I don't think any of us watch this shit. All right. Well, you know what? You know what? It's so sad. Well, you know what? I watch it. I watch it, and I don't. And and, and I want somebody to say something to me and come to me, me at an a, a tournament and call me a pussy because I watch Lifetime, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> See for yourself. Lifetime is godlike. I don't be watching the movies on there. That's. Those movies be got like on like they be I making mean, me. They be too depressed. No, every time I like turn the channel, there's always someone crying. Every time like, I turn the channel on, it's like it's like it's it's <laughs> Joe from the it's Joe from the Facts of Life, like thirty years older, doing I'm a show on it. And shit. I watch Oxygen though on Sundays. I watch that. <laughs> I watch that. Now I'm not gonna lie, I don't watch Lifetime, but I watch Oxygen. I like the mean, violent shows like Sons of Anarchy, <laughs> True Blood. Yes, I love that. True Blood. There we go. Yeah, uh, I I needed some violence in my my TV show. Just in case somebody come up wrong, I'm looking at everybody else's mistakes. Game of Thrones. <laughs> you know, those are my. Shows. <laughs> I've never watched Game of Thrones. I've never oh, watched. You, oh, you've never I, watched. I've, I've, I've never I watched, watched Walking I Dead. I watched it yesterday, and I'm like six episodes in. It's really yeah, it's good. It's so good. It's yeah, really good. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm serious. I put, I put it off because I was trying to read the books first. And then yeah. I was like, if somebody said something about The Walking like, Dead, I'm like a diehard Walking Dead fan. Yeah, I, I can't Walking Dead, dead. you are missing <laughs> out. <laughs> dead was awesome to me. I don't know. I feel like you're writing is bad. The only reason uh, I don't like, like, I like The Walking Dead, but it's so different from, like, 
the comics. comics that it's like it's hard to love it because I love the comics. So. The comics are really good. I want to read so them. They're so graphic. Yeah, they're no. they're like so much better because like shit happens <laughs> in the comics, man. Hey, Q. Shit happens. Q, did you watch Grimm tonight? Q. No. Is she oh, there? Breaking Bad. Yeah, that's cool. Q. Q. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if she's there. Also, because me we watch Grimm. Me and her watch Grimm, so. I, was I heard about that. It's 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 an okay show. I don't like the, the uh, what is it called? I don't know. The special effects are kind of oh. cheesy, but it's a good show. But I, I would say you know, Sons of Anarchy is really good though. If you haven't seen Bob's that as well, yeah, Sons of uh, it's good. Actually, Boardwalk Empire on HBO is okay. It's kind of slow, but it's a lot violent. But for sure, Game of Thrones and True Blood. I'm trying to look at the fines. I gotta start that. Yeah. I tried watching Breaking Bad. I could not get through the first few episodes. Yeah, it Couldn't took really them. a long time to pick up. Everybody was like, oh my god, so godlike. But I was like, it's yeah, like yeah. this shit, like three seasons. It, it's it's not so slow. It's like, not so slow. They're lucky all three seasons are on Netflix, or else I would not have kept <laughs> up. That's what I tried watching on Netflix, too. And I couldn't get through the first few episodes. It was so boring. I'm like, and the show's supposed to be good? Like, I, I yeah. can't. Yeah, it, it starts off real slow. But. Once it picks off, it's pretty cool. Ooh, someone said American Horror Story. The first season was good. American Horror Story. After that, I stopped watching. I think we got off topic. Yeah. <laughs> no, we didn't. I mean, hey, movies. Mo- you know, I mean, I mean, I'm actually listening to girls talk about gore movies and shit like that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, look, I uh, I don't watch TV. I haven't watched TV since Seinfeld came on. Damn. Uh- <laughs> I really um, never liked Seinfeld though. I could not get into that show. I'm old. Ryan, how can you not like this? Yeah, I don't watch TV. This is my uh, Seinfeld and uh, I can't. I can't get into. I, I didn't think. It, I didn't think it was very funny. I, I don't Mark. think it's funny either. Uh, it's like yeah, and, and uh, so. somebody's talk, somebody in the chat's talking about this Spartacus. Oh, oh I watch that. I love it. Yo, I don't. Y'all are missing out. Y'all are missing out if y'all don't tune in to Spartacus. I'm gonna tell y'all. Now. I'm actually I gonna start that watching that. Sure. I ain't. I ain't giving no spoilers to anything. <laughs> but I all. heard some fucked up shit about that movie, that show. So <laughs> I don't really want to go there. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> boring. What? Spartacus? No, it's not boring. Trust me, it's it gets out there from what people were telling me. Yeah, oh, so yeah. much like. Naked bodies in porn. that series. It's porn. <laughs> <laughs> Base Motel bored me. The TV show that's on is it Annie? Yeah, I watched four. I, can't, I was I just can't like, I can't watch it. I lost it. Yeah, I lost right. out of it. <laughs> like I like the original fight, um, Psycho movie, but I looked at that. I was like, nah, it ain't happening for me. Yeah. Now Scandal. I watched Scandal. That show. Hey. Awesome. Wait a minute. The dynasty is freaking awesome. I can't get into scandal. I don't know. Huh? Oh no, that's too oh my god, it's so slimy. <laughs> <laughs> it is so slimy. People are sleeping with people and you're getting paid to not tell and oh my god, it's just scandal yeah. after scandal. Damn, we'd be mad rich <laughs> if people offered us that kind of deal in the FGC. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See now, let me ask you this. Now, you know, all of you. Wow, this, Miranda, man, you got more yeah, troll pics Miranda. than I've seen anybody with. That picture's funny, Miranda. <laughs> oh, it's Khaleesi. Is that Khaleesi? Yeah. yeah, I was on topic, so I just Aww. I just went with it. Khaleesi. What uh, <laughs> as as, f- as far as the the esports thing and the money? Are you ladies chasing money, or are you just playing to have fun? Um, one of my things that I've always, I, I bitch about, and I pretty much I'll say I bitch and moan, is too many people think that chasing is dollar and a dream bullshit. Um, and it kind of, in my opinion, has taken the fun out of gaming. I mean, it's one thing to compete, but it's another thing for people to, be get, to, to get so obsessed with chasing this money that, you know, I listen to people bitch about characters in games, especially coming from the Mortal Kombat world and the Injustice world. This character needs buffs. All of a sudden, everybody's a fucking expert. What what it takes to design a game. And, you know, one of the things that, like, when I go to the tournaments, and Q, you know, I bring my moonshine. 
<laughs> oh my god, that killer. Oh my god, that's like hillbilly. I bring oh. I bring my beer, mm -hmm. I bring my booze, oh, I bring my god. cigarettes, I bring a couple of pads, a couple of sticks, and I go to have fun. I'm packing, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> He Jar said moonshine, let's go. Jar you oh know, my god, you I'm gotta ready. try his moonshine. Yeah. <laughs> hey Persia, hey Persia. Yipes, like yipes, yipes, remembers my, yipes remembers my moonshine. And I remember Yipes' with moonshine too. <laughs> hey babe, how is that moonshine? <laughs> what? He said it was delicious. <laughs> He's not an easy man to pick up off the floor. <laughs> But I mean, do you guys? Do, 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 when you guys go, is it chasing the money or just to have a good time? I don't get any money from playing because I don't win tournaments. So I mean, I go to have fun. I go to level up, honestly. But I mean, having fun is also priority. And I think, um, yeah. I I love to compete. Um, like just like competing is really fun. I'm super competitive, so like it's just a lot of fun. At the same time. I like I don't make enough money to keep being a pop monster so personally like I want to compete more but I want to wait until I'm ready to where I, at least I know like I won't just be experiencing oh and two like at Apex I went two and two in Marvel and that was pretty much the best I've done in Marvel so far in tournament and it, I was still like that is so ass so it was like two and two is fucking ass like when I make it out of pools, when I start getting like, you know, top 64, top 32, top 16, then I'll start feeling like I'm really getting somewhere. But I really like to compete, so that's what really drives me to play. Now, as far as all you ladies go in in the competing, whether it be first person or any 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 game, what's the best you've ever done and at what tournament? Oh, oh, any game? Any game. I've won. I've won several Catherine tournaments. I've won probably half of them <laughs> that we've had. Um, but that's a game that a lot of people don't know about. We had a scene for it in NorCal, um, and basically it was me or Dacid Bro who won every single one of them. And uh, it's a puzzle game, by the way. So. Hmm. I done but, not, yeah. I done not be good at those puzzle things. They make you think. But yeah, um, that's. I mean, that's the best I've done. But yes. that game, like I said, it's not very big. And then other than that, like I, I um, I. Almost got out of pools last year at SF4, and uh, I got I was one away from top eight at West Coast Marvel for Tekken six like a couple of years ago. That's the best I've done though. I've never gotten like top eight, obviously. I never gotten like uh, I never got out of pools to Evo. I've been one away a couple times. That's it. So I'm hoping to get out of pools this year. The last time I won tournaments was for Halo Two. Um, I won a few like local tournaments in Texas. That's was where because that's where I'm from. Um, and then Halo Three, I won like a few, but not as many as Halo Two. But I think the I guess gaming accomplishment I'm most proud of are I, the two world records I have in Tetris. <laughs> yeah, that's like my favorite thing to be like, yes, I have world record. And uh, my name's in the gamers book, the Guinness Gamers Edition. And like it's just like one little line, it's like Samantha Hancock, Tetris, and I'm like, yes. Oh, <laughs> wow. this whole book, but yes, it's me. So That's shit. Yeah. Did you shit. beat the Russians? Oh, it was for like a time trial record. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know them Russians and that Tetris. Alright, now let's let's roll um, over to Latoya and, and Lady Fox, because I know you guys are team players, so what's the best you guys have done as far as tournament wise? Well, I played a lot of tournaments in um, Iraq. That's why I really started gaming. Um, Wait, did you just say in Iraq? Mm -hmm. um, I went in, I, I went to Iraq in 2007, came back early 2009. Um, so that's when I really started gaming. There was really nothing else to do but play basketball and that kind of stuff. So um, I joined a lot of, like... Um, first person shooter tournaments. I played Call of Duty and the Halos and all of that. Um, I actually came um, third place in um, Camp Balad in Iraq um, for their Halo tournament. So that was pretty much, that was like the last tournament that I was really like um, really good at. Like I do tournaments here now. Um, we have a, a 
company here called Mid South Gaming, and they love for me to come out. And they anytime they have a tournament, they always ask for me to come and show up, even if I'm not in it. Um, and I also recently, my family and I just bought a gaming truck, like a, a traveling game. And um, so now I'm going to start hosting my own tournaments. The the truck actually has like uh, four flat screen TVs inside if it's 16 wow. people um, on the yeah. inside and there can be another eight people on the outside to play. So it's pretty awesome. I'm excited for that. Are you so, from are you are you you New York? No, I'm not from New York. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> no, I said, are you from no, I said, are you coming to New York? <laughs> I, you know what? If you pay me enough, I will. <laughs> That's a hot idea. Like, Yo, there's, there's a company in New York that does that. They rent it out for parties and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, but we're gonna do parties too. But from most of the time, um, I really want to do a bunch of tournaments because we don't have a lot of tournaments out here in Memphis. So I'm gonna try and get more of the gaming community to come out and do some tournaments at parks and stuff like that, just oh. to have. To do. Well, after the show, hit me up. Any way I can help spread the word for you, I have no problem. But I do have to ask you, what were you doing in Iraq? I was in the Army for eight years. Um, I was actually a network analyst. So um, my job in the military was to travel with the uh, infantry guys to make sure they had internet and telephone so they could communicate back to the bases. God damn. God bless you. When did you uh, get out? I got out in 2010. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was in the Navy, but I was, like, from 99 to 2003. That's awesome. Oh, so, yeah, that's shit. I couldn't do eight years. Fuck that. You did eight years, right? Yeah, I did eight. I did eight oh, years. I did my four, and I was out. Oh, salute. <laughs> exactly. Salute, salute, salute to you. I, I, you know what? You've just proven once again. You know, I'm looking at your Rikon, a pretty face. You're going to whoop your asses, guys, for real deal. <laughs> But definitely, definitely props for that. Um, and yeah, any way I can help you, let me know. I'll uh, I'll definitely spread the word out. You know, uh, you know, I'll help get that uh, that Memphis scene going. Uh, well. You know, it's 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 definitely now. I'm actually honored that you came on the show. I didn't know you had, that we had military people in here. Um, okay. I hear uh, la la is Lady Fox there? Would she like fall asleep on us? She's here. <laughs> Is she shy? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Don't be shy. <laughs> Don't be shy. You can interject. Uh-oh, guess who wants to chime in? Take a guess. Take a guess, Filipina champ. Who wants to chime in? Uh, <laughs> of course. I can guess their opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Empire Arcadia himself. Yeah, I knew uh, it. I told you. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I was about to do his voice. <laughs> but he never You gotta get Yipes to do the voice. He was the best Triforce impression. Mr. Triforce, how are you, sir? Hey, what's going on? So what do you think about the change of format for the show? Ladies night now. Um that's a that's a good start. <laughs> I'm so sad. Why do you sound sad? No, I'm not sad. I'm just I'm doing something right now. But um, yeah, but uh, it's a good it's a good change. Um, it's you know it's something different from the same um, nonsense we're usually on the show for. So it's a refreshing. God, Miranda, you're killing me with those uh, pictures. <laughs> <laughs> She is on work, like. She's and then Triforce has like the other angle, so now it's like we're seeing him from all sides. Yeah, are you guys gonna go on that? Where's the Where's the third one? <laughs> I mean... There you go. I got them both up there, side by side. Now. <laughs> there yeah. Yeah. So what's there going on go. with you, Mr. Triforce? Uh, getting the guys ready for East Coast Throwdown. Um, I was just talking to Persia today. She may play at East Coast Throwdown. And I, I overheard uh, one of the ladies saying that they're going to do, they're going to try to get a Memphis tournament running in, um, well, a scene, a competitive scene running in Memphis. Um, what games will you have down there? Um, whatever the gaming community out here acts for, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not a big um, 
you know, fighter. I do mostly shooting games, but um, I'm going to try and get up with the Mid-South Gaming um, Company, and we're going to work together because they do a lot of the fighting games here. So, um, All right. Uh, do you have a timetable, like what month you're looking to uh, put this in? Once I talk to them, I can definitely email you and let you know about a time frame and all of that because we just got the truck um, two weeks ago. So, okay. yeah. Well, if you can, you can keep uh, um, Persia, Samantha, uh, abreast of the situation because if you're having like Call of Duty down there, I'd love for her to go and bust some guns and, and wipe out the Memphis scene. Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll see. Um, um, outside of that, uh, there's something that I, I, I wanted to ask uh, the ladies on the show, and then uh, there was a statement that I'd like to make. I think I'll start with the statement first, and uh, the, the first thing I'm going to say is, um, in terms of the statement, is that the reason, well, when you compare the, the community, the fighting game scene, to the shooter scene and how the girls are treated, despite um, the the bad behavior that we um, treat the uh, one second. Despite how we treat the uh, the females in the fighting game scene, that's light compared to how the shooters treat the girls, and that is online and offline. I'm like, you think it's bad in the FGC? It's nothing compared. I've I've listened online to bitches, hoes, all kinds. I agree. Of stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> online on Call of Duty. Yeah, you know, I don't really go through that a lot on Battlefield, but on Call of Duty, it's it's crazy. Call of Duty, it's horrible. I was just yeah. online getting called all kinds of sluts and whores. <laughs> It's like, I'll hold you, dyke, you're fat. I'm like, how you, like, you just yeah, make it look out of random I'm shit. Fat, I'm fat lesbian bitches every day. I get <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah, whatever. I'm like, all right. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, go look at my Facebook page then. <laughs> One, let me, hold on, let me interject this. All you mm. girls who play online, how many times have guys sent you penis pics? Hey, oh. I get them every day. <laughs> I, I never got one. Well, I'm, I'm, I never got I don't, one either. I got two. No, I don't know. I think two or three. You sound disappointed, Miranda. <coughs> yeah, I think yeah. I got two or three. Am I, though? I don't know. I never Have you guys heard of that site called FatUglyOrSlutty.com? Yeah, I've heard of it. It's that. really, it's oh, really, really funny. It's, um, it's basically a site that um, a lot of girls upload their hate mail. Like, like the... <laughs> Uh, I'll link it if, it, if that's okay. Um, it's pretty funny, because, I mean, like, a lot of girls have trouble dealing with a lot of the hate mail um, they get. Cut into the, the only problem is a lot of the, uh, a lot of the hate is um, escalated because some girls get caught doing nonsense. I remember there was a Facebook... Um, Can I finish what I'm saying, though? Uh-oh. Excuse me? Uh, oh, I mean, I was... I was in the middle of a sentence. It's okay. Go ahead. Oh no! Oh no! No, finish what you were saying. Oh uh, yeah, but um, I just I just think it's a funny side because a lot of girls have trouble dealing with um, a lot of the hate mail they get, especially new newcomers. They just want to play the game and they want to quit because of it, and I don't think that's okay. So um, when they upload it to that site, it's it, it gives them a way to laugh about it and to feel like they can they can take they can look at it and say. These guys are idiots, and all the girls um, deal with it too, and they know that they're idiots too, and that, and that helps them cope with it. So I like the site, even though it shows a lot of hate mail. I think it's a funny site, so that's why I shared it. Anyway. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, and th there's a reason, there's a point I'm trying to get to in uh, um, um, to everything, and it's going to get, it's going to end up being the same point that Bernie Bra made, that people are just going to have to just deal with it as is. Because at the end of the day, um, it, it, it's balanced. It's really balanced out. It's not as bad as everyone, um, you know, makes it appear. If everyone just goes in with the mentality of, you know, listen, I'm just there to play. Whatever happened, good or bad, it's whatever. You know, they, they just let it rock. They're there to play. They compete. They learn what they can learn. And then they go back to their lives outside of competitive gaming. That's really the best way to attack, to attack the situation because um, there, you have the girls who are trying to make a good effort moving forward competitively, 
And just as you have one side of the coin, there is another side of the coin. And that other side of the coin is you have the girls that make the so-called stereotypes true. Uh, there's guys that put on, they made this Facebook fan page where Xbox Live girls who were doing things that they should not have done makes it look bad for the girls who are really there trying to make, you know, do with whatever they got to do in the competitive gaming scene. And what happens is you have these idiots who translate that to every single girl is a pro ho as opposed to now you just have the ones that are and the ones that don't. So uh, that, that was a statement I wanted to make based on burden you brought in. You can't fight it. There's nothing um, that's going to be done to make it any better. It's, um, it's like any industry that has, that's male-dominated and has females in it. You just got to fight through it. And then, you know, if you are true and who you say you are, you'll it's be countering all right. It's it, really. It's not even pretty much fighting it. It's just countering it. Yeah. But that, that, well, yeah, uh, in the grand scheme thing. But uh, so my question, um, this is the question I wanted to ask you girls. Um, <clears throat> because Persia was, com um, James, you had, you had asked a question earlier about why, you know, you know, do they think the girls are like, are not getting treated fair and uh, like in the fighting game scene in terms of learning. And there's something that Persia, actually Q, you went through it too. Same thing Q went through. And when we were, when I had like the, the old arc, the arc five, the one before the God's arc, um, I had this mentality where it, the best way to, to teach girls to become godlike at video games or, you know, especially in the competitive scene, is not to treat them like girls. They got to be treated just like the guys. Like, just like how we, when we body somebody, you know, guys would be like, you got bodied, nigga, fuck you, asshole. And we curse at them if you guys have ever seen Jago and Remix argue and talk at each other. They're literally cursing and degrading each other. It looks like they're about to break out in a fight. But they're not. That's just the way they talk. Girls do that amongst themselves. Hold on. Girls? Speaking of Jago, tell him to go to ECT. Everybody misses him, especially the Dante Forum. Oh, shit. The no, fuck? <laughs> that was fanatic. Yeah, I All heard right. that voice. I'll, I'll, I'll let Jago know. He should be going. Where's the fanatic? But, um. Mm -hmm. Hey. But... No, I'm not fanatic. I'm Devil May Spy. Oh, oh Devil May. Oh, that's right. Oh. <laughs> I, I forgot no, about that beef no, y'all no. had. I forgot about that beef y'all had. All right. But the reason why I brought that up is because when, when I look at Q and I look at Persia, and I've known these ladies for a, a, a very, very long time. I've known Q for over a decade. I remember when Q was like 16 years old going to the arcade and stuff like that. And we were like, yo, look at this. Who is this? And whatnot to who she is now. And the same thing for Persia. And I separate those two girls from the general fighting game population for females because I don't consider them female gamers. You know, I consider them gamers or I just call them my type of gamers. I call them Valkyries because they've been put in the, the flames of um, training with the guys. We call them bitches. Bitch, you better get that shit right. Blah, blah, blah. They, they get bodied. Like, did no, when Yipes plays Persia, he be playing her so be bodying her shit so bad and she would get upset. And Yikes does not give a shit. He just keeps <laughs> bodying her. And he's, yeah. he's like, you know, fuck that. Like, you could get mad all you want, but, you know, and, and I respect that because if Yipes takes it easy on her, that's the real disrespect. There's a huge gray area in between taking it easy on someone and calling them a bitch. <laughs> Yeah. It wasn't really like that. He's just generally saying, like, you know, when we talk shit to each other, they wouldn't be like, yo, bitch, like, whoa, yeah, what's yeah. good? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, like I that. Yeah, it's, I'm just, I'm generally speaking, we didn't, we're not going around like, yo, bitch, yo, get that combo right. That's not what we're <laughs> like, We're just saying generally, we speak, to, what I'm trying to say is that we speak to her the same way we would speak to the guys. So yeah. all the the pop-off would be the same, the same way we go out on with the aggression in terms of learning the game and, 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 and coming out competitive. We speak to both Q and, um, and Persia like that. But in order for the girls to get better, in, generally, they have to do stuff like what Q does. If you, have, if you have a problem in terms of learning or you feel you're not learning, say something. A lot of girls don't say anything. They just keep it to themselves. 
and then they complain that they're they're not learning but like how we're gonna know you know where you're lacking other than the obvious that what we're seeing on the screen like you suck you're not doing this properly yada 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 unless you you, you ask questions because you know uh, an instructor telling you x y and z is one thing but if you're well, maybe not I've been ask asking the wrong people because the people i ask don't give a fuck so <laughs> I'm just it's saying, maybe You're I'm asking the wrong people. I mean, but you know what? I'm going to say this, Triforce. In mm -hmm. 2010, there were some quote-unquote top players I've asked, and I'm not going to say their names, and they all turned their back on me. The, oh, actually, well, the only person that, no, let me, like, the only person that didn't was Yipes, but he was going to play in his pool, so he couldn't, and Dr. Chaos. Those were the well, only two that did not turn their back on me. The rest did. At that I, moment, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. It's all on me. I'm going to do what I got to do. Everyone, maybe it's my community, but everyone I've ever asked in NorCal about Street Fighter has helped me. Every, I don't think a single person has turned me down. You're helping. lucky then, Miranda. You really it's, are. Well, it's NorCal, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm serious. So. You're lucky. I mean, yeah. it's not the same. I mean, it's good that you had that, you know. I yeah, mean, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's like that everywhere. I know it's not, yeah. but I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I guess I'm lucky. Truth be told, real rap. And, and, no, and no one's going to say any names because they don't want to create some type of war or whatever with any star players. 90% of the top star players don't ever think girls will ever be good in video games, period. I agree with period. that. Period. Not, yeah, I'm not talking about just fighting any, and that's shooting. That's any video game. They, they talk about any video games. They, they, they literally have a chauvinistic point of view that females It's always gamers been like that are, since are being a kid. <laughs> like, it's always yeah. been like that. It's the like, sad, that'll never go away. The so sad it's like, part, just though, deal with it and roll with the punches. The sad well, it'll go, part, it'll though, go away when there are female top players. That's yeah, what it'll yes. away. And that's, that's Persia's exactly. point. Yeah. And that's Persia point. Until someone steps it up and, you know, give Kayane a hand with the situation, they're going to keep doing that. But one of the major problems, in my opinion, is that these top players that look down on the entire female gender are adored by the female gender on some critical shit. And... To be, to be very honest with you, not staying you ladies on the show, this is a general statement to the entire female gaming population. Until y'all stop riding these niggas' dicks without a helmet, they're going to continue to look down on y'all. I'm just putting that out there. I wish you would say some names because, I mean, I'm actually curious. And what do you mean by riding their dick? Like, I mean, they're, they're, they're players I like the way they play, but I'm not on their dick. Like, I'm not going to say that anymore myself. Well, well, I'm not saying you. I said general. <laughs> it's general. Okay. Uh, you listen. mean like a, like a fan? Like someone you admire? Is that, nah, is all you nah it, it's, it's worse than that. And we, girls, listen, ladies, y'all been to the tournaments. Let's not act like we don't know. Uh, you've seen the words, You're talking about the groupies at the tournaments. But yeah, that's do you mean, mean groupies? Like who want to fuck someone? Or you mean someone who just admires a top player? Like I admire PR Rob like a lot because he plays my character and he's really, really good. And he, I think he's the best boxer. But I mean... That's I just really admire him as a player, so and that's it. He's actually a really cool person too. Or do you or do you mean people who are like trying to you know? Get some. Listen, I'll, I'll, people like trying to. I'll, I'll, I'll break it down for you and make it very simple. You have aspiring female gamers who want to get on their knees, start the gag fest, <laughs> and learn how to play the game. And that's just real. That, like, I'm not even laughing no more. I'm just keeping it. Sure. You're just talking about the hoes, huh? It, it's oh, pro hoes, right? Pro hoes. Yeah, you're just talking about the hoes. Like. Okay, okay. All right, let me, let me interject here. Because, you know, cause I, being that I'm the oldest motherfucker in this community, you know, I'm, you know, I, I'm just putting this out here, guys. I'm just recently uh, divorcing. Um, Stop playing. Um... Where are these gak 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 hoys that everybody keeps talking about? That's what I want to know. I, I don't know. I, we don't have those NorCal. I'm sorry. You I don't know what. You won't know who they are unless you have those in NorCal. Until you win attorneys, then you won't know who they are. Yo, kill no. <laughs> Not really. Like, I've been on the I West have to Coast win and to East Coast. And I've seen yeah, most on East Coast yeah. than West Coast. Yeah, no, because on the East Coast. It's majority I've seen a lot on the East Coast than West Coast. If you're, if well, I don't like, know who they are, so who cares? What you gotta do is watch the top player. Like, okay, let's say if Chris G won Marvel, watch all the girls that flock to him. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> yeah. 
Or better yet, or better yet, go to the diners and the bars after the tournament. Yeah, after the tournament, then you'll see that. When you see the group, then you're like, yo, damn, balls. That's hilarious deep. to me. I wish but, I was good at games. Maybe I get some dudes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 well, listen, guys. I got. I just wanted to uh, uh, put that out there um, and come on the show. But you know, girls, thank you um, for coming on the show and representing um, your scene and and whatnot. But actually, I gotta go. I overstayed a long time. I should have bounced. But um, yeah, I'll see y'all at the tournament if I can. And James, I'll see you at ECT. All right. You got it, man. All right, later, y'all. Later. Right, peace. Uh, seven, uh, seven, seven, seven. Yeah, I am actually serious about the divorce thing. Me and my wife are splitting up. She's moving back to Ecuador. It's a agree agreeing to disagree on our our decisions in life. Um, so, yeah, pretty much yeah, I'm getting divorced. Much. So, as you see, my wife is not walking around the stream like normally. Oh, she moved out. Eh, shit happens. Sorry you know. That sucks. I'm sorry. You know what? I tried. We both tried. It, was, it wasn't like it was, you know, we woke up one day and just said it. We've been talking about it for about two, three years now. So... I mean, it is okay. what it is. So, so the meat's back on the market, ladies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you said nah. The meat is <laughs> back on the market. <laughs> no, actually, not real. Actually, to be honest, not really. I'm not looking for shit like that right now. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, and I'm gonna get off emo because I got all the ladies here to, to console me. Um, oh. But uh, yeah, the shit hurts, you know. I mean, it's not, you know, I got married uh, seven years ago uh, with the intent of it being the real deal in forever. So, you know, it just, it shit happens. But, you know what, F because of that, now I gotta put a code out there. So, I am gonna put a code out there right now for somebody who actually says something I'm gonna ask a random question and I want somebody that the first person to type it in will get the code um, and I'm gonna give geography let's see how many edumacated folk are out there because <laughs> um, I got an edumacation um, what is the capital of Djibouti <laughs> <coughs> what is the capital of the place where my wife is moving back to? Uh, uh, are you lost either? Ecuador. And Woolsey, Woolsey 316 already got it. Oh, it's a <laughs> wow, fuck you, Woolsey. God damn it. Woolsey, Woolsey, Woolsey 316, hit me up on uh, Skype if you can't hear me, James MK. And, or, uh, so fast or Google. Oh, yeah, he hit it mm -hmm. fast. <laughs> you know what it is. Everybody knows my wife's Ecuadorian, so he had that shit stored in there. <laughs> so, Woozle, hit me up on Skype or hit me up on uh, on Twitter, and I'll give you a code. Um, but, yeah, like I said, uh, you know, as far as the divorce thing, yo, shit happens. You know, she wanted to have kids. I wanted to play video games until I'm 60. You know, so, you know, you know what it is? I just, I'm a big kid. What can I say? Wrong, you know, no, well, there is, you know, at 40, almost 45 years old, and I, I run a show where I drink beers, tell people they're fucking fat McRib eating motherfuckers, and, <laughs> and you know, and, and do what I want to do and say what I want to say. Um, and then it's funny because I, you know, people don't think I, I see the, the write ups on like the Reddits and the, the Neo Gaffs and. You know, Natus, Natus and me are the Illuminati. We see all the shit that goes on. And the hate that I get, you know, from it is, it, it makes me laugh. It, it really makes me laugh that, you know, one of the things is, uh, you know, like I said in the previous weeks, you know, I, I met Daigo uh, a couple of weeks ago at NYU and uh, gave him an OBS shirt. We were hanging out. We were bullshitting. And I shot a video with somebody and... I called him uh, Diego Un Suarez, just breaking balls. And you would have thought I killed the guy's mother. You know, how can you disrespect him like that? Yeah, he's a fucking person. You know, uh, I, 
you know what it reminds me of? I'm sorry to interrupt you, but right. I remember one time on Facebook, I spelled his, uh, I think I, I spelled his name wrong. I twisted, like, I put the I first, I think, so the A, and this one girl commented, and she just went off on me, because I was like, wow, it was not, you know, it wasn't intentional. I just, like, typed it wrong. But she went yeah, crazy, and I'm just like, oh, my God, like, she was threatening me, and I had to, like, block her just for just spelling his name wrong. And some people are really intense like that. But I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. Actually, hold on a second. Uh, Who is typing? That's got to be Miranda. Miranda. My bad, my bad. I'm playing a billion words Damn, Miranda be good. I'm not on, I'm not on Ranger keyboard. For real. Damn, Miranda. Are, are you just hitting A, 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 A? No, I have that. Woozle, uh, I actually sent you a message through uh, through uh, Twitch also, so respond back to me what you want, and I'll uh, give you a code. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, I'm glad that I've gotten, you know, women to come out onto the show. Um, you know, and I'm not letting you go, because now that I got you, and I know some of you, I think, well, Miranda's in, in California, so it's early for you. Us, uh, and us New Yorkers, we don't sleep. So that's one, two, three. Uh, three New Yorkers. Actually, well, we'll burn your bra. Where are you? I'm in Texas. You're in Texas. You're a, you're mm -hmm. a Texas girl. And then we got, <laughs> and then we got Chris G. We got Chris G. You ain't going nowhere because cause our other fucking part, partner in crime leaves early because he's got to go to work. Like I ain't got to be working fucking five in the morning. <laughs> he fucking cuts out on me. Dark Natus, you're on blast, motherfucker. He does this to me all the time. All right. Why isn't he... T yeah, I actually, to here's a, work at 7 he, here was a question I was supposed to ask uh, Triforce. Why isn't he talking about how he wanted a 5 or 5 in exchange for female members of the opposing team? What? <laughs> Apparently what? the emperors in the empire had a, a, uh, a, a 5 versus 5 and the winner got one of their girls. What? What? Yeah, I guess um, it was like... I didn't hear anything about this, so... Yeah, well, it, it, it never really happened, so... It, did, and it never really materialized, so, I mean... Yeah, well, teams were pimping out girls, apparently. Some type of really? Wow, really? Yeah. Well, I guess... Uh, oh, okay. If they're there to be pimped, and they, they want to be pimped, pimp them, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> The dumbass that go walk yeah. over there. And <laughs> hey, let me pick, I just mean, imagine. I know wait, just a, like, yeah, just, I can see just, yeah, let's get, I mean, let's go. just imagine. Just yeah, imagine. Lost, so I'm just gonna go with them. No. Just imagine your clan leader like, oh, dude, sorry, but you know, you gotta go. You gotta. You gotta go screw these guys now. <laughs> you gotta take one for the team, right? Good hustle. And then just send her up there. <laughs> but uh, so I, I mean, anyway, as far as. Uh, you know the, the whole esports thing. What what do you ladies think is going to happen? Do you think this is going to grow? Do you think it's going to remain the same? Do you think it's going to shrink up like it's collapsed before in the past? I I think it's growing. I think, um, and I hope to see it on like the the main stages and compared to even or uh, next to other major league sports. I think it's growing. Um, I just think for it to even grow more, it just needs to get a little bit more organized. But with that, a lot of corporations is going to come in because they got the money. So um, I just see it growing. I don't think it's going to collapse. You know, gaming is becoming popular every single year. It's just growing and growing. So competitive play will be there as well. I think something that would hold it back would probably be the fact that, like, there's always new games coming out, new games that are being tournaments for, and then games die. So it's like, I don't think that the bigger companies know which games to invest in because they don't want to invest in something that's going to eventually die. And then the games that are popular, you know, like Marvel and stuff, like, who's really invested in anything in Marvel? And there's reasons why they haven't invested in Marvel. It's like... Once there's, like, some solidarity with, like, the games, that's why, like, StarCraft and League of Legends and stuff like that, that's why it's so popular, because, like, those games, people invest their life into it, and, like, it's not going anywhere. Like, fighting games, there's a different fighting game every few months. 
Yeah, when it comes to fighters, it's kind of, I guess it's kind of different. But I mean, um, like the the major three that MLG and other leagues are picking up. I mean, you have big corporations like CBS and stuff that's really putting out money out there just to have it publicized. So um, as, as long as it grow and it stay, I guess it doesn't change up too much. I just see it becoming the next big sport. I mean, how far uh, how far do you think it can actually go? And and, and let's be real here. Um, you know, my generation um, is the original gaming generation. Um, me myself, I can't see myself in the future. Wa- I can't see me watching Walking Dead or uh, or or Game of Thrones. Let alone sitting on TV instead of watching a hockey game watching a bunch of guys, a bunch of kids, you know, or young adults playing video games for a couple of hundred grand. I mean, what, Twitch? Like, for MLG, for the Winter Circuit, they broke some records on Twitch alone. And if that gets transferred over to the TV, you might catch yourself watching it. Like, so... Well, back in Halo a 2, they used to show Halo 2 matches on ESPN in the morning on the weekends. And then it never really went anywhere. And Halo 2 was popular at the time. I mean, I don't... Like I said, I, I just don't see the transfer and being able to, to happen. Because... Hold on. Uh, I don't see the transfer happening. Um, one of the things is... I do believe, you know, and I'm not trying to diss MLG because, like I said, I really got no ill words for him. But I, I, I think the numbers are somewhat inflated in comparison to uh, making a profit versus, and, and let's be real, you got to make a profit in order for a business to be successful. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the numbers, and one of the things that I noticed is paid subscriptions versus free. You know, now if you're basing this off of, you know, 400,000 people watching commercials, then you're making money. But if you're basing it off of, of people actually subscribing and paying for it, I mean, maybe if if it became a pay-per-view event, it has the potential to make some money, um, you know, if, as far as on TV. But if you just, I mean, A, you couldn't slap it on channel four or five, you know, any of the regular channels, just because of the way the community as a whole is, you know, I don't think they have enough uh, bleeps that they could put <laughs> when a community's jumping up saying, take that nigga's ass, tear him apart, rip him a new one. <laughs> Are you it's, saying like the fighting the game team community? Corn pops off. Yeah. yeah. That shit is crazy. Fight <laughs> game, I don't know. Like, I guess oh, everybody yeah. just don't... <laughs> They don't want to grow to, I guess, the esports or something. It, it, I guess it just depends on the community. Well, I mean, I don't think the because I, I mean Madden, like somebody had mentioned, which is true on the chat. I mean, Madden was on ESPN. They had a tournament featured on there, and I guess whoever puts the money into it, I guess, on what's popping at the moment, uh, they try to publicize it on TV. But um, as far as the fighting game community, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it can happen. To be honest, I don't think it can happen. Um, if you look at the, the you know, the first-person shooters and the League of Legends type games, and you look at the crowds, and I will say this, every MLG event I went to, those crowds for those were packed. They were yeah. packed. The audience yeah. was packed. And they're not yelling, get fucked. They're very, I mean, they're in their seats. They're, res- <laughs> they're restrained. They got little WWE signs. Go this dude, go this dude. I mean, it, I mean, at some sports venues, you hear some, some Sydney's growing. Like, I mean, if you, if you had a basketball game, you hear some people going crazy <laughs> or a football game. So, I mean, I guess it's how they all were broadcasted, I guess. Yeah, and, they, and you don't have people commentating NBA talking about this game sucks. Like football, man, football's where it's at. This game is so <laughs> broken, man. Oh, you saw that? That was so cheap. That's so broken. This game sucks. Like it's just. I mean, you I'll know, say this: when Brady, when Brady, some type of point of, I guess it just has to grow. When Brady commentated for for MLG, 
I think he did a phenomenal job. Him and uh and uh what's his name? Uh Juice Box. The dancing motherfucker, yeah, Juice, Juice Box. Box. Um they 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 had a good chemistry with one another. Um, when uh, Phil 9.95 was doing the interviews in the commentary, he did a good job. Uh, Bibulous, they did a good job on that side of it. Um, but the problem with the fighting game community in general is part of the fighting game community is that get fucked hype. And to dumb it down, and Miranda, you are killing me. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, get fucked type. Okay. <laughs> he got he got super rape face there. Oh, but oh, yeah. you know what bothers me, man, when people celebrate when they kill Morgan. <laughs> it's not over when you kill Morgan and you use X Factor. I got Virgil in the back. I I got Doom. He comes in with foot dive and he kills your whole team. Why are you celebrating when you kill Morgan? I, I don't get this community is so stupid. <laughs> Uh, uh, but, but the, po the point is you can't take that hype away and have this community be successful I just don't think you know the chemistry is there and it's sustaining with that with that interaction but if you take that interaction away I cannot picture you know 10,000 people sitting down and watching a Marvel game between Yipes and Chris G and everybody just sitting in their seats like they're in church pews. <laughs> it's just it can't happen. Wow, you got uh, you got you, are you are you tormenting me, Miranda? Because <laughs> you know what it is, you know, and and, and I don't know if your friend, you know, and, and I, I don't, you know, don't judge me based off of my feelings. But that fat fuck pissed me the fuck off. Whoa. Um. The reason, I mean, the reason, and I'll tell you why he did. Oh, I invited, I invited his dumb ass on my show, and he turns around to me for no reason and says, "What? So you can get views? I don't do low production value shows." Yeah. He, probably, he said that because he's Martin. Yeah, well, I mean, Martin got to learn. Shit, he says shit like that. Yeah, well, Martin got to. I, I do a lot of other things besides say things. So, Martin, if he sees me at a tournament, he better apologize or I'll knock about 50 pounds off his fat ass. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not fond of him. We've had, like, um. I mean, I'm I, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with him now, I guess. But, I mean, he said some fucked up stuff about me, too. But that's in the past. I don't know. I mean,. That's no, awesome. I mean, look, I, I, I said to you, that sounds fucked up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I believe it or not, you know, I'm a dick. I could be a scumbag, but I'm the easiest person to get along with as long as you don't shit on me, and I don't shit on nobody unless they shit on me, and that includes, I'm... and that includes the whole, you know, Mr. Wizard thing that I got my issues with them. You know, if people hadn't fucked with me, I don't fuck with you. I asked the question to Mr. Wizard about that donation drive, which, by the way, let me just throw this out there to all you guys that donated money for those charities. How does it feel? Because, see, all of these girls are absolutely beautiful I have on my stream tonight. But they didn't get what you guys did in the community. You got fucked. Okay, because... What are, you talking, what are you talking about? I'm talking about them donating, all these people that donated the money... To have their games in it put into there, and Super Smash Brothers wound up getting in there, oh. which I'm all cool with. Oh yeah. And then he turns around and goes, "Oh, by the way, all you guys that paid, fuck you if you didn't win. We're we're putting injustice in now, for free. Oh, yeah. You know, you shit on these guys that basically paid money with the intent and hope that their game would be in there. And yeah. rather than them get yeah. their chance, they said, "No, well, you know." It's injustice. Now, don't get me wrong. I like injustice. I'm glad it's in there. But what about the four or five other games that were part of that donation drive? What do they get? Oh, I know what they get. As Mr. Rollcap says, they get fucked. You know, and that's, that's, it's the things like that that piss me off that they do. You know, if, if, you know, and this is the one thing, and this is going to be my, my, uh, my Hugo Chavez speech. You guys are the community. You guys dictate to them. If you go to McDonald's and you ask for a McRib and they say, we ain't got McRibs, well, guess what? You don't go to fucking McDonald's. 
go patronage somewhere else. If the tournaments don't treat you the way you want to be treated, let them know. Because the more of you that do it, the more they have to act upon it to try and entertain you. Like I said in the past, I want tournaments to be like going to a Woodstock or some kind. Mm -hmm. I, I would love to turn around and come to NorCal. What's the biggest band up in NorCal that um, ever come out of NorCal? Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, perfect. Well, aren't they Pennsylvania originally? <laughs> Man, what, what were we saying? What's like the biggest band up in NorCal, like right now, music wise? Like from NorCal? Yeah. I had, I have no idea who's from NorCal. I mean, a bunch of uh, we just got like tech nerds up here and stuff. Really? Little tech nerds up there? Um, I mean, it's Silicon Valley. People, <laughs> people are busy getting yelled at by parents not to play music and to go to college instead. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, my point know. is this: if you were to go to a tournament. What would be so bad about, let's say, I don't know, because I'm old school, I guess. I go to a tournament. I, I have my games in my room. When that's not going on, you got some boots set up with beyond just Mad Cats. All respect for Mark and Mad Cats. Great bunch of guys. Um, you know, some other things. Maybe, I don't know, Mountain Dew comes down. Uh, Bic Razors, Dr. Pepper, or whatever. And then there's another room that at the end of the night, there's a party. And at the party, guess what? Red Hot Chili Peppers is playing there. You know, that would be, that's, that's giving you something. To me, the money that I'm giving you, I expect to walk away from the tournament saying, wow, this, was a, this wasn't a great tournament, it was a great event. And if you guys unitedly say, we want more, they have to listen to you. You know, and, and the and the point is, a lot of these tournament organizers, they don't. I mean, and I'm not picking on uh, uh, on CEO at all in any way, shape, or form, because I haven't been to their event, but I've heard nothing about nothing but good stuff about it. But I also hear this an elite trip that goes to Disney, you know, where people get to go to Disney, the special people. You know, well, why don't you offer some kind of package for anybody that goes? I'm going to Disney World, and I'm not no one. I mean, <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Who's going to Disney World? Where Bailey pays for them, and it's all covered and all that. Maybe they're his oh, friends. Yeah. I don't know. I know I'm going, but I don't, no one's paying for my shit except for me. Exactly, but my point is that I know there is a group of people that do that. You know, you know, but it's like the elitism that is in this community makes me sick. The what? The elitism, where people think, just because you're good at a game. Now, um, um, once again, ladies, I apologize. None, it's not directed at none of you. But if you could turn around and play a video game, but I could fuck you up in real life, what does your video game skill mean? So you better not pop off at me, unless well, you're ready to back it up. I mean, what does your physical ability mean? Anything, too? I mean... My, my point is this. You don't wise off to somebody or mouth off to somebody and it not expect there to be some repercussions to it. Now, some people's repercussions is, I'm going to give you a talking. Some people's repercussions is I punch you in the face. <laughs> now, I'm not saying what's wrong and what's right. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to, depending on the situation at hand. But the point is, people have to respect one another, and that does not happen. And that's not just a girl thing. That's a community-wide thing. Yeah, people don't separate the two at times. You know, I love games. I like talking trash. I could tell, you know, if you see the interactions between me and C.D. Jr., you know, I'm calling him a faggot and a douchebag and this and that and whatever. And, and, but you know what? If he turned around and he called me up and he said, Yo, Jimmy, I'm stuck somewhere. I'd be in a car in 10 minutes. I'd end the show to go help him out. Because there's, there's hype bullshit talk and then there's really people being dicks. Yeah. And there's fucking DJ Toro asking me if I like fish sticks. Yes, I love fish sticks. <laughs> you know, but, you know, it's, it's, that's where the growth of the community has to come. You know, from, from people being able to, to stop that bullshit. Like I said, when Mon turned around for no reason and, 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 and attacked me in that way, without even knowing me, that's the worst mm -hmm. part. You don't even know me. 
you know, and it, it's because you feel you're somebody special. You're not special. You're a fucking kid that plays a goddamn video game. You know, I have... It's pretty much like how we feel when a guy will turn around and say something disrespectful, and we're like, you don't even fucking know me. Like, why are you yeah. fucking and that's saying the, something like that? And that's the point also, and yeah. it applies to you as well. Unfortunately, I mean, you could punch the shit out of him if you want, um, but, you know, I don't know what would happen with that. And I'm not cranky, uh, uh, joke guns, joke guns. Um, I just, I'm just being real. I just wish people would treat each other with respect. The whole point of having ladies on here tonight was not to bring in numbers and, 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 and give eye candy for everybody to stare at and jerk off to or whatever the hell they want to do. Like, like my, like my, like my avatar? <laughs> It's a good one. I like that one. That's a good one. That's a good one. You know, my my whole point was get an understanding what the girls think of the scene. It's not. It's not gonna change. Yeah, it's really not. (laughs) Like people can say it. I've said it. It's shit's not gonna change. So. I think I think stuff is changing though. I mean, like one one of the things I didn't like about um, how girls were in the fighting community is that there weren't that, there weren't that many of us. That's changing. There's a lot more now. Um, no, I mean I, that. that could, okay, wait. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Miranda. Wait, wait, yeah, that that is changing. I think we can all agree on that, right? I mean, there there are obviously a lot more girls, especially Evo, you know. But um, and there's a couple other things that are changing too, like um. I honestly feel like that whole, you know, what you guys are saying about attention whores or whatever, I think, that, I think that's going away. I feel like it is. I don't really see a lot of that anymore. Um, honestly, I really haven't been paying, for me personally, I haven't been paying that much attention lately. Like, I, to, do, I don't know. See, I, 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 do, I do pay attention to it, and it, has it gone down? Yeah, it's gone uh, down in person, but, I mean, we all see Twitter. Yeah. You know, I mean, everybody and their mother's got the biggest dick in the world on Twitter. You know, <laughs> and, and then when it comes to, you know, when, when all of a sudden you see somebody, oh my God, you're James? Yeah, I'm James. You know, remember how you told me to go fuck my mother on Twitter? Oh, I was just trolling you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've done that a few times. So, I went so to tournaments and confronted people and, yep. uh, and they were the nicest people denying that they said so and so, but I mean, like I said, it's not going to change. They're going to go back when the when the tournament's over. They're going to go back to their Twitter and their Facebook, and they're going to talk more shit about you. That's that tail between the are. legs, though, <laughs> in person, right? Yeah. I mean, you confront them, and then, like one person in particular, I'm not going to say who. I confronted him, and I think he got really like bitchy or whatever, and he just like took me off his friends list on Facebook and was like, uh-huh. like wow, because I confronted you, and then you denied it, and I was like, yo, I saw it on Facebook. I even like. I took a, like, I copied it. I took a picture of it. I was like, I have it. And he still denied it. Then he just got all salty and took me on Facebook. Like, who cares? I don't care. People shouldn't care. There's not going to change. I feel like the only reason it will change is because the girls who enjoy being in the community for the games themselves pay less and less mind to all the bullshit now. Like, now, like, we've, like, just got, you know, stronger with it instead of taking offense to it, we just realize everybody's stupid and then take it for what it is after so that. We, like, we, you know, we know who's been things. here. We know who's been here like, in the long, like, for, for a while now. Yeah. Like, the people who've been here for a while that, like, have stood the test of time that aren't just here, you know, and get bored and leave. I mean... I, I think people have been here... What? For me, me personally, like I said, I, you know, being that I've, you know... And, and we've never spoke before. My background goes, I worked on the first three Mortal Kombats. Um, you know, I've written strategy guides. I've been doing it competitively since the 90s. Got locked up. Unfortunately, when you're locked up, you can't play video game guys, just to let you know that little secret. Um, instead, what I got when I came back to the scene is, who does this guy think he is? All he does is he bashes people and... and and he's dick riding off a of Perfect Legend, picking on Perfect Legend, making cantaloupe videos. You know, I got a great relationship with Perfect Legend. I think he's a great guy. You know, there's a difference between shtick, you know, and, 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 and real shit. You know, and, you know, I paid a bounty out on the kid. You know, I pay bounties out on other players too. 
you know, the Dominican brothers, the guys that I've met in the community from the New York scene have been nothing but great. Even Triforce. I like Triforce. I don't give a shit what anybody says. You know, um, I've heard people bash him, and I still, like I said, once again, what has he done wrong? And then everybody goes, he's Triforce. Okay. Well, now I get trolled on the on, on all these pages, and I get called the White Triforce. I don't know what that means, but apparently I'm the White Triforce. Um, I do this show to entertain people, you know, and that's it. And I'm going to continue to do the show as long as I can. Oh my God! Now she got rape face on again. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, how many pictures do you got? Uh, it's called Google Image Search, man. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's, I, I, I like this, and, and, and coming from the beginning days of the competitive scene, I could tell you this. The fact that there's so many girls now coming out turns me on in a non perverted way. And also, another thing, the gay and lesbian communities coming out in numbers. Is something that I'm I'm ultra impressed with, um, and it's funny because I've said it before on my show. We live in a society where you know you know you this guy will call this guy a nigger, this one a fag, this and this. But then when you come to the gaming community, everybody gets along. <laughs> you know, and, and, and there is there is a connection there um, with all the trolling and all the bullshit that goes on that. You know, such a diverse group of people can actually get together and coexist, but yet we can as a society. I know I'm getting all philosophical now, but... Um, and I think if they keep that portion of it intact, at the same time, the people in the community start to be more vocal of what they want, I think the scene can grow more. But without that... This scene, I believe, is at a point where that's it. What you see right now is what you get. You know, I don't see it growing. I don't see it. Maybe the numbers might drop down here and there, but I don't see a, a, a substantial see growth. A, a substantial growth. Why you got me on? Why do I got to hear myself, uh, little Filipino champ? Hold on, my AGE headset died. It ran out of batteries. So I have to switch and get the blue one. Hold on, dog. Let me mute myself. Wait, you should be using sound blasters. <laughs> uh, no comment. <laughs> Ooh, David Hader just sent me the mother load. What's oh my god, that's a treasure trove of like. I'm gonna use these. <laughs> like, let, me find a, let me find a good one. Uh, anyway. Ooh, this is the one. I found the one. The one. Hey James, yes. I would love to continue this chat, but I have to go smoke and sleep, <laughs> so I have to get going. Okay, well, like I said, it's always all you ladies are always welcome to come back. Um, I'm glad you all stuck around. I uh, apologize, my work, my trains, everything else kind of got all fucked up today, um, so you know I, I got a little bit of a late start. But uh, you're always welcome to come on, and anybody you want to, or anything you want. I want to marry all of them. Apparently, <laughs> Robot One Columbus wants to marry all of you. Oh. <laughs> well, well, you guys have a good night. All right, Bye. thank Bye. you for coming. Bye. Night. Bye. Um, you know, so I mean, there's other questions that I had that I've, I've been. You and your headset, your headset killing me. Filipino <laughs> champ. Good. You better. All right, here we go. Wow, somebody's falling asleep to me on my... Wow, people actually just said I'm putting them to sleep, really. I'm sorry. Uh, you know what it is? I've been trying to catch, play catch-up with the Twitter questions. So let me... Uh, oh, no. Let oh. me go back to this. So what's uh, what's Yipes doing? Is he over there sleeping? Oh. No, he's playing Call of Duty. Call of Duty? You whooping his ass in it? No, because our other Xbox died, so we can't play together anymore. Dang. And we refuse to play split screen, so. <laughs> so you, split screen. You just tell him. Just tell him. I don't even need an Xbox to whoop your ass. <laughs> I can beat you with my mind. Sam, she Jean Green. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, another question for the lady. I right, uh, we kind of went through this one. 
and I know where Miranda stands because she don't like it, but uh, how do the ladies feel about the term pro hoes being used in the community? They're not called pro hoes, they're called clap dress. <laughs> clap <laughs> clap <laughs> Yo. They broke out the borderlands. I'm just saying, you know, that sounds more suitable. I don't know. I don't think much about it, honestly. I don't really hate it. I mean, I, I mean, I don't get offended by it because I know what you guys mean by it. It's like I use the word attention whore. It's basically yeah, clap thing. trap is disrespectful to real clap trap. <laughs> <laughs> what is a clap trap? Like, that's like character in um, Borderlands is my favorite. Oh, that's that Borderlands no, actually, robot. No, but I'm saying though, when you hear the word clap trap, don't it sound like that somebody got something? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it like does. oh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I got I don't know. cramps. That sounds like. When you have the clap on light and it gets fucked up, and then every time you clap, it doesn't turn off. Yeah. And now you're sitting in a vortex. <laughs> Broke the clap track. All right, here's another question to all the females Who is the best female fighting game player in the U.S.? Oh, God, I don't know. Marlon Pie. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, no, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> There is a, I think there's a lot of solid and really good players, but nobody significantly stood out enough to be recognized that way. Yep. yep. Now, now with that said, now with that said, do you think you know? And this is what we went through earlier. Do you think that, with that said, that there should be? I know it sounds gimmicky, but a female, you know, uh, Royal Rumble, duke it out, see who's the best. Not saying don't compete with the males, but at least. Do, like, well, that's what that is, though. When you have a female only tournament, that's what you're doing. You're com not competing with the males. That's no, exactly I, I but no, I'm saying you, do, you can do I, both. I think it has its trade-offs. So, like if yeah. there was, I understand why if there would be a female tournament, it would bring on the problem, but it might not because maybe more females would come out to actually come and play. That's what um, the intention. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no. The, yeah, that's like that would be the intention because I don't, I didn't. I don't see that many girls out there competing, you know, maybe they think they might won't, won't get accepted or they're not popular enough to be accepted. And there's so many factors, but if there's like a tournament just to, you know, just blast out and say, hey, calling all girls to come and compete, maybe more would join and then go compete against the guys, you know, just I think, gamer I think, versus gamer. I think that was the intention with the 2010, um, female tournament at EVO and look how, look how that turned out. That was a train wreck. I mean, I know I, I, t I completely stand behind what the canon's intentions were, yeah. but I mean, it, I, I really think it ended up as a train wreck and I thought that I thought I would and I, I don't like how it divided the girls and I think it made a lot of girls less comfortable in the community and the whole, that whole brawl between Lil Bison and Sherry was ridiculous. Wait, there was a brawl? And no, uh, almost. I mean, th th there's that he thing left, about... He you think they're just trying to make it like a Sorry. girl fight type That's game. what it is, though. That's what you're doing when you're when you're you're literally pitting girls against each other, and that divides yeah. them, and that makes people less comfortable in the community. I think a lot of there's a lot of welcoming right. guys. There's a lot of guys that aren't welcoming that are rude. But the thing, the big problem is when girls hate each other. That, okay, that's, that's a big exactly what that, That's exactly what that tournament did. I think it divided the girls. I think it did. I really saw I, it. So. See, I, I didn't. I didn't see it, so I, I was don't. caught right smack I, in the middle of that, and I. Was, I oh, sorry. It was bad. I wasn't there either, but like, my whole thing about it is this: I heard that it was a whole, like, almost a whole fight, or whatever the case may be. Damn! But it was um, just too much estrogen. It was one, <laughs> one, one girl. I'll just, I'll just say, girl A, talking a lot, a lot of shit before a tournament, way That's before a tournament, too. during the tournament about girl B. And then girl A ended up beating girl B in the tournament, and girl B didn't want to shake her hand because okay. look, this girl's talking shit about her for the past few months. I don't want to touch your fucking hand, right? I mean, that's I think that's where she's coming from with that. So girl B doesn't shake girl A's hand because girl A was talking shit so much, and then girl B walks away. And as she's walking away, girl A is still fucking talking shit. So it'll just get like real catty for no reason. It okay, basically so... still talking shit. So girl B turns around like, yo, shut the fuck up. And that's when it almost happened. But someone broke him up. Okay, so I have a question. What would, like, 
I understand like that whole situation or whatever or whatnot, but what's the difference between that and dudes doing it? Because I'm pretty sure we all remember uh, Smooth Viper and Noel Brown at the break. Yes, yes, and that did happen. That was, oh. a, that was a horrible thing that happened. I think it was really stupid. So, but my whole thing is like, that it's nothing brand new. So it's like, what's the difference between dudes talking shit and girls talking shit? I guess because it's some, it's um, not that many, and it probably just be a growing problem. Well, I'm talking but about a case. I'm talking about a case where it almost got physical. It would have gotten physical, just like what you like the example with Smooth Viper and Noel. Like that, that was physical, and that was a pro. I think it was a problem. I don't think that should happen. That was a problem, and that was a problem that happened at the girls' tournament. So yeah, the, I mean, I, I, um, I don't think if girls, um, some know girls it, be dragging it, stuff out a little too long compared that, exactly. to guys. Yeah, but the thing is, um, girls talking shit with each other, that's, I mean, I don't see a problem with it, but when it comes to something that almost is physical, which it did, that's a problem, and that's what happened. It is a problem when it, it comes physical, because we're all adults, the majority of us are all adults here, so you should know how to do it, and my thing is, if you've been in the scene and you know how the scene is, this should be nothing brand new to you, the fact that people are talking shit. So yeah. if somebody talks shit to you... Don't act brand new and be like, oh, my God, I can't believe you're talking shit. Oh, my God. No. And, and I feel like half of the time it shouldn't even be taken personal. It's about gaming. Nothing more, nothing less. There's all you kinds know? of shit talking. It really depends on what you say. There's some some people take it too far. Like they bring up personal well, shit like your mom died or like you like or some real, okay, like, real, real personal shit. No, yeah, that's that you fucked up, point blank. That is what people yeah, get socked in the face over. Up. I've socked someone in the face before, and it almost happened at their girls' tournament. That's all I'm saying. But that's I, never, I never said a girl in the face. I'm just saying, but like people have gone across the line. That's when it happens. Well, and that's you know, what sometimes in life, that's... if you talk shit, expect to get hit, point blank, period. Just expect it, and it's not and anything about females and males because it's gonna happen on either side. Talk shit, you get hit, point blank, period. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So if you, so you're saying, okay. I think if you t if someone talks shit to me and said some things I wouldn't like, I'd, I'd probably sock them on the face too. So it's like th there's on that end where you talk shit, you get socked in the face, and then You're right. there's, you get, and then there's, you get socked in the face. That's bad. That's not a good thing. But me, I'm not gonna then, slap you. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> so that's just a done daughter, like point blank well, period. <laughs> but, but, but I'm saying, it goes from shit talking's okay to you talk shit, you get punched in the face to you put get punched in the face. That's a bad thing. So it's like, well, look where it's going. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, that's all, that's all I'm pointing out. I mean, I, I'm all, I'm all, I'm okay with shit talk. Like, I mean, I hear it all the time. It's fun if you're not like going over the line. Me too. People, I love it. Some totally people don't know where it is. Like, I feel like okay, real talk, girls. Even if you win the girl tourney, guys are still gonna treat you like you won the Special Olympics. Nobody gives a shit <laughs> at the end of the day until you beat a nigga, real nigga, like not no girl. Like Flo. What? Yeah, real niggas like Flo. I saw that shit. Good shit, Miranda. Yeah, I saw that good shit. Too. I mean, I went there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I agree, though, because it's like, really, okay, you win a female tournament. What did you really accomplish? That's yeah, not I, really I, anything. Well, it's not I an think accomplishment. I don't want to talk down on anyone, but that I, I totally agree to with you. I totally else. agree with you. I wouldn't, I, I mean, I'm not going to say it, it's a world accomplishment, but it does give females the ability to tear list themselves and why make, would they and, want and, it? because because you know what all right i'm gonna be real how many of you go to evo expecting to walk out the winner of the game you're playing i don't i, don't. I mean does I have any goals. Does it, I have goals and what's your goals um did, last year was to get out of pools and i almost did but i didn't i mean i was one away like, yeah, like real talk it's not Obviously. even a cash 20 foot. Like, real talk, none of us, I don't care if it's Kiani, Choco, whoever, ain't none of us is beating no Sanford or no Justin and Turney. That, that is, is completely, that is gonna completely, happen. that is completely, I completely <coughs> agree with you. I would not that think that way. That's not going to happen. That, that's a really bad attitude to have. So, am I crazy it's a to bad think attitude, that, right. <laughs> that the three is like, like, no girl would attitude. ever, ever... I mean, in the future, or anything like that. You saying like, there's no girl out there that we probably don't know that can beat them. Yo, Kayane is an exception. I'm talking the about exception's not the rule, though. Now, as like as far as I see, I'm not talking about the future. I'm talking yeah. about the present. 
I'm talking about the present. I'm talking about the past for me. If I had that, okay, I'm not trying to like put myself up or anything, but I was scared when I saw that if I won my first match, I'd have to play Flo. Flo's a sponsored player. He chokes in tournament, but he is a good player. I think he's really good in casuals mostly because he chokes like fuck crazy. But I'm not saying like in future. If I if I think oh I can't beat a sponsored player because I'm a girl, I can't beat a sponsored player because I'm not good enough. If I thought that way, like I would have just like I would have just been defeated before I sat down. That's a really bad attitude to have. No, you're not gonna beat anyone if you have that attitude. It's not that, no, not at all. I don't feel that way, but that's, I feel that way, but I don't because, don't get me wrong, like, even get at it. Big 2, at Big 2, like, I came one and one with Kevin. Kevin Landon. He got, like, the best fucking gal. Like, and I was even proud of that. I even told him myself, like, I may lose, but I'm proud as fuck that I made it up to you. Yeah, if you play your best, you do well. Like, that's, that's a, you know, that's, that's I mean, yeah, that's what I was yeah. saying, like, with Morant, like, there, there is, I mean, look, Kayane, there are females out there that could be a top there tier are. guy. It's like but having that mindset. Is that making it kind of stagnant? Like, it's not the females having the mindset. I, I feel like I'm not, I'm not talking about as far as your skill wise. Mm -hmm. I mean to say it like, honestly, with certain games, two out of three, it's just too fucking random. You know what I mean? Because. It's like when you finally figure that person out, it's like, oh shit, I'm already in fucking loser's bracket. So, you know uh, what I mean? Yeah, no, I don't you mean it is random. And the thing is, um, I'm gonna keep bringing up the same example because it's really relevant to me anyway. I mean, like, I know I, I I'm not, be I'm not a, uh, beating someone in a tournament once does not make you a better player than them. It makes you, it means you placed higher than them in the tournament, or that you beat them in the tournament. It doesn't make you a better player than them. People are, some people, I take into account casuals. Some people are really, really good players, like Bronson. Um, Flow, um, a couple other people, they're really good players, but they just choke in tournament. They're not strong tournament players, but they are godlike players mm -hmm. still. Yeah. And I take that into account if you're a good player or not. I took into account how many tournaments you've won if you're a good player or not. So there's a lot of things that to be considered. So, I mean, I think you're right. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're not going to. I think. What you is what you mean that there aren't any girl players that are going to be better because I agree with that it's true right now I think. But yeah, can a girl can a girl beat one of those players in tournament? Absolutely yes. Oh, I'm not talking about the future. I'm just talking about like I'm saying right now. I'm now, saying now. Okay. I'm saying now. Ha yeah. Okay, can or has or have a girl be There's somebody out there? Yeah. <laughs> they have. Sure there is. I'm and sure we there all is. have a goal. Sherry B. Like... Bronson. Like a, a girl, uh, actually another another girl, B. Bronson. Back when he was like one of the best second players, it was at Evo. It was o Ogre's uh, wife. She beat him. The Ling player. I don't know if you guys know about this about Tekken or anything, but I mean. She yeah. she beat him legit in tournament. He he just got bodied. That happened, and he was he was like at his prime. This is Tekken three, I think. I don't remember. Hmm. The girl I mean, watching Marvel. I, 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 all, all I'm, all I'm saying is I'm telling I'm telling you it's happened, <laughs> and I, I think it's a bad attitude to, to discredit people who have beaten guys because it's happened. Oh no, I'm not discrediting anybody because I'm one of those people myself. I played. Yeah, yeah. I've gotten first. I've gotten. You know, top five myself in top eight in top sixteen. I almost got top six, uh, sixteen at the Street Fighter anniversary. Yeah, well, there, I, there you go. So I'm not discrediting. You know, but a girl, I uh, think a girl can't beat like Stanford. I beat him in casuals, I think. I don't even remember. I, I played oh, him casuals. I beat Stanford myself a couple of times. Are you talking about like tournament? I'm that can happen like, too. Tournament. I'm talking. Yeah, it can happen if they're if they. You know, like I said earlier, everyone has their off days. You know, yeah. everybody might have their off days, and then you'll be the person who, you know, got like that day. You're That's what tournaments stick. are, though. Tournaments are not 100%. They're random sometimes, especially if it's a random game. Where but now, but, but by Apex. that statement, Apex. by that, wait, 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 but by that statement, mm -hmm. then there is no best players. Yeah, there is no best players. Uh, that's, that's why I said I take into account casuals. I take into account consistency. I take into account how many tournaments they've placed in. That's why it, it, it all, it all, it's all. It, you don't just take oh they won Evo. They're the best player now. Like yeah. you consistently win. Infiltration has consistently won every big ass fucking Street Fighter tournament. I think he's the best right now. I think honestly he was the best before because he any tournament that he entered he was always top three. I agree too. I think he was the best before he actually got first a couple yeah. times. I, I always thought he was uh, not always, but I mean up until around that that time, yeah. I thought he was good. And he just he was now always he's like really the underdog. Him. He was like always the underdog. I and don't it think was he like was. not really an underdog, but it's like okay, he always gets no. third, but now he's like owning niggas, and it's like when you're third, you're like not the underdog because you could be taken first. If you're third, you could be taken first. Yeah, it's all that's what I'm saying because it, it tournaments are random. Like it, it, you have to you have to consistently place. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Infiltration may be the best in AE, but Chris G is the overall best player in the world in every f fighting game combined. Uh, overall. Overall, that's, that's I would have to agree. Hard. Are, you, uh, overall. Are, you talking about, are you talking about now fighting games or fighting games in general? Fighting games in general. Combination, general. combination no, of everything. General. The best overall uh, fighting game player is Chris G. You can uh, Toki, Toki to who? Chris no, Tokido yeah, who? what about him? No. What about no. him? Chris he can't be Chris and Marvel. Marvel. Chris can beat Tokido in Marvel. He can place in KOF. He can place in 3S. Yeah. All Mortal the games Kombat. Yeah. Mortal Kombat. Um, are we gonna? Are we gonna hey. set the thing? Up? Are we? Are we waiting to set the thing up at Evo for this? Because I will put a thousand dollars on Tokido. Right now. Okay, wait, 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 Miranda. Every you're gonna put up a grand. I'm gonna put up a grand Sorry. against you. I'll put a grand up against you. Tokido has Chris to play. He has How many games are you talking about? Which, which, which Mortal, game Com talking? Mortal Kombat okay. 9. A. Mortal Kombat 9? Injustice. Mortal Kombat, though. Street Fighter. Hey, 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 hey. We're talking overall. So Third let's strike? KOF. Third We're going to go KOF, Third Strike, Mortal Kombat 9, Injustice, and Street Fighter. Why would Fighter. they have a Tekken? Tekken? Yeah, what about Tekken? What about no. the games that Tokido yeah, played? What about play? Tekken? Because Chris... What about the games I put Tekken in there. But Chris plays Mortal Kombat, Tokido plays Tekken, so it's even. You can drop both of those. What so about Injustice? All the games that they play. Like, all the games that they both play, um, the yeah, put money on Tokido. At least six. Okay, that's fine. Well, we'll, have to, we'll have to really think about which oh, games, I gotta but I mean... This. I would right. love to see this. All I gotta say I, I like is, to I got up. my money on Punko on both of y'all. Punko and Body both of y'all. Punko. Let's get real. Yo, Seth. Seth is Seth. I don't care what anybody says. Punko Body both of these shit. I don't care. <laughs> Chris G and Dive Kick. <laughs> yeah, Chris G and Dive Kick. <laughs> All right, let me check oh, my yeah. inbox here. Be fun and Dive Kick. That was that was fun. Dive Kick. Isn't that Marn? That's the that dude or whatever on Dive Kick. Whoa. I don't know. That's what I heard. I never played the game, so I don't know. I've, dive Kick is is funny. Yeah, Mr. N is Marn. It is, right? Yeah. I wasn't by <laughs> And here we go with the typing again. I gotta send I gotta send I got I gotta Look send this Pinko. code to Woozle. Hold on, I, I forgot to send this code. Pukul's like five foot tall by the way. Oh yeah. I, I that's alright. I, I can show him what American girls are about. No, <laughs> but he wants to know. He wants to know. I bet he does. <laughs> Oh god. Oh god like. Okay. I'm just gonna hop back to the previous topic real quick. Um so when it all came down to like we were we were kinda talking about, you know, your goals and stuff like that. Like honestly, even if it sounds unrealistic, my end goal for like fighting games is to be the best. Even if that takes me five, ten years or whatever, you know, if shit's even around at that time. Like, that's how I feel. Like, I'm not going to be completely satisfied until, like, I'm the absolute best. That's good. And I, I like think that. most of it's just because I'm so competitive and I know what it feels like to win in shooters. And now, like, I'm being way more challenged in fighting games. So, like, my competitive sense is just like, no, like, I don't want to be the best of females. I don't want to be the best at, you know, locals. I want to be the best in, like, Very the world. I want to go everywhere and I want to play everyone and I want to beat everybody. Now I realize it's going to take me a hell of a long fucking time to catch up to everybody who's been playing for years and years longer than I have. Because technically I'm an 09er, <laughs> so I have a lot of catching up to do, but I don't feel like it's not within my reach. Like, And I don't know if that's just me being cocky, but I feel like it's possible it's for being me confident. with the, with the confident. like, you know, with the <laughs> time and work. dedication. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that I'm willing idea. to put forth. I respect it. I don't, I'm, I'm competitive, but I don't, I, I, don't, I don't dedicate that much time and heart into um, Street Fighter. I like the game. Um, I'm not as competitive in it though. So when I play, like if I'm if I'm, I'm trying to improve, I'm hoping to get like a like a better um, <coughs> sorry, like um, I, like last year, like okay, the first year I went to uh, two years ago was the first year I competed in Street Fighter Four. I'm very new to that game, and I, I I just wanted to not go zero two. That was my goal, and I went two and two. And then last year. I wanted to get out of pools, and I didn't. I went four and two, and this year I want to get out of pools. And like I, I just do little stuff like that. But I mean, I'm not expecting to win Evo next year. But if I wanted to, I would. I would try a lot harder and have higher goals. 
So I think that's like pretty cool that like you actually give a shit because <laughs> some, <laughs> some I'm serious. Like some people don't set set a goal that high for themselves, and that's not and that's how you don't get better if you don't have a goal that high. And Marvel's two out of three at Evo. Dang, I have a better chance now. <laughs> I don't I play that game, but if I did, gimmicky. I don't, yeah, I don't play that game, but if I did, I would pick the most cheese bullshit team. I would, I would be, the, I would be the asshole scrub that random someone out. That everyone's like, Dude, that, that fucking like piece of shit scrub beat me. I don't know how the fuck these a cheap ass team. I'd be like, that would be me. I'd be that person. That scumbag. <laughs> That's all I know. But I don't play team games. It's just not my thing. So, Christie's like story of my life. That's what everybody yes. tells me. I, I would be I would, <laughs> in your taxi. That would be me. <laughs> Paste my face on that guy. <laughs> I mean, it's it's you know. Now let me ask you this: you're all you're all women gamers. Uh, what? Uh, Are you serious right now? What is your your long term goals as far as just in general? Obviously, I know you're talking about games, but you know, I, and I've actually sat with Justin one day and and I asked him. I said, "What do you do when you're not the top dog no more and you're not gaming? What's your goal?" Like, what are you guys planning on? I mean, is it get married, pop out babies, and go to the kitchen, or is it... Yo, wow. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, eventually the gaming ends. Oh, Everybody it. gets older, you know. Well, I don't know if you've ever seen that video of, like, the gaming granny. I'm going to be just like her. <laughs> <laughs> the gaming granny. Look, up, look, look it up on YouTube. She's, like, 80, and she still plays the Xbox. It's awesome. Yo, damn. Wow. <laughs> Me and Lady Fox are gonna be just like her. <laughs> she's my she's my uh, motivation, my oh. mentor. Uh, I think I, I, I'm never gonna stop gaming. So I actually started take. Um, I had haven't finished my degree yet, but I'm like halfway through. Um, I was going for game development. I wanted to be like a game developer. I wanted to make my own games and shit like that so that's my like life goal aside from like being the best fucking gamer ever on the face of the earth now i'm gonna i'm gonna <laughs> stereo i'm gonna stereotype what are you gonna make like strawberry shortcake uh the video oh, game course. you know all the bubbly butterfly <sighs> games that all of us girls power power puff girl fighter game it is guys <laughs> playing that look at my little pony <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh, what what about you, uh, Miss Miranda? Oh, I um, uh, I, I don't know. I already gra I graduated last summer. Um, I got promoted the day after I got gra graduated. Um, and so I just play games on when I'm not working, and I like playing games. Um, I'm probably gonna, I, my fighting game community uh, efforts are like dwindling very fast i play a lot of league of legends now i do not play that much street fighter anymore but um and i'm not looking to get competitive in league of legends i'm very 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 far behind everyone i'm not very good yet but uh, it's fun to play so um i'll just keep playing games because they're fun but um i don't have any goals in the video game community really well maybe, I, I'm, maybe, I'm talking maybe, outside maybe. i'm talking outside of it like your oh, goals. Of games. oh um i want to i might go back to school um get a second degree or Get my master's. Uh, in, yeah. In. Um, and what? What master's in what? Oh, oh, in. Oh, I want to get my MBA, but I'm not, I'm not sure exactly, like, if I want to do that. I might want to teach. I don't know. I don't really know what I want to do. All right, guys. Um, I have no to head out. So thanks for having me. It was super fun, and um, I hope we could do this again sometime. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I definitely All think right, we're gonna. See you, Persia. All right, bye. All righty. Bye-bye. Shit. Oh, shit. Wait, wait. All right, we're dwindling down. Had a lot of girls today. Unfortunately, a lot of girls I missed because I, I didn't know. Unfortunately, I just learned a very sad lesson that I can only do up to nine video at once. What? Like when I do the video conference and, and people have the cameras on, I can only get I, nine I, videos I, at the did. same time. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, but you use it more than I do. Okay, but if you want to use it, I'll just give it to you. So that's not an excuse. Uh, somebody just added Sherry. Yeah, can she come in? Yeah, sure. I mean... <laughs> there she is. Hey, 
<laughs> What's going on, though? Finally, Sherry enters the On Blast show. How many weeks have I tried to get you on the show? Uh, like the past three weeks. <laughs> Straight out of the oven. <laughs> what's up, what's up? How are you guys doing tonight? We're all doing well. What uh, cool. What are you up to? Actually, first of all, for some of the stream people who oddly might not know who you are, introduce yourself. Um, let's see. My name is Sherry, also known as Sherry Jenix, and I am a Street Fighter Four player. Wait, that cheapness viper. Yes, that's the viper. That cheap viper. <laughs> that's what that C's for. <laughs> yeah, that's what the C's for. It's not crimson. It's cheap. <laughs> so now I was asking everybody else what uh, what their opinions are as far as women in gaming. What is your opinion? Uh, I mean, how do you respond to that? Yeah, it's, a, it's a really general question. It's yeah. a, well, I had trouble too. All right, wait, you know what? Let me go back because somebody just already hit me up with it.